Hey guys, what is going on? Diamond Dan Maverick is back with another video and this is probably going to be a really short video because this is actually a really easy event. I'm actually very surprised at how uh, easy this is. It's not four events that goes into one, really just one event. Uh, really quick, before we get started though, I uh, took a look at all the numbers for the month uh, long event and it looks like we're going to finish at about 18,599 above the last milestone so i know there's a few people who were a little upset because they might miss like a day or two from the web store in which you get 2200 per day so it looks like you can miss a few days which is great because it seems like past events you had to get every single day and if you lost missed out on a day you needed to buy offers right so it looks like they're at least being a little bit more friendly with these month-long events uh just a spark note of the blog that just was released we got Black Panther uh, 1MM coming out with Nakia soon. Uh, we also, and keep in mind, they are the second Death, Stur uh, Death Scourge team. So if you want to invest in them, feel free. Um, or if you just want to go really hard on your Bionic Avengers, that's another way too. Uh, a Trick or Treat event is coming on the 27th. And this is interesting because this is the only time this year that we'll get to recruit uh, Zombie Iron Man. They said that we cannot until next year's calendar, which we don't really know when that is it looks like we just have to farm specific nodes uh in order like the harvest orbs we had to do in which we can then unlock him and then there's a little mini event we could do with him so it seems relatively easy uh but we'll see how many you know what that really looks like uh on the 25th it looks like spider-man 2099 is going to the elite store which is extremely fast and then weaver is going to go into the various orbs the basic ultimate mega all those all right guys let's go into the event really quick uh it looks like we are going for the midnight haunt just to finish up our halloween i just tried using my mouse not realizing there's no batteries and i was wondering why i wasn't moving um so looking at the blog, it looks like another blitz, uh, but not a heavy blitz. And, and I'm I'm going to reiterate that you do not need to blitz cra crazy. That's actually pretty friendly. Uh, you get 60 points per blitz win, as well as an additional 30 points for Dark Hunters and Symbiotes. So keep in mind, there are 10 Symbiotes. I'm sorry, 10 Symbiotes and Dark Hunters combined. So every rotation, you'll be getting about another 300 points. And then uh, spending power cores, you get 15 points. Uh, as always, we're going to look at the milestone and which gives you the last special items for the month-long event uh it looks like milestone 20 at 68,200, and then a lot of extra stuff really interesting i saw stc here uh it could be somebody in my line so me it could be start start tech credits which is interesting 50,000. that's a lot so i don't know if they're trying to just pump up some new players uh in the game and get their alliances boosted faster or if that's a typo we'll see but uh this is actually a pretty easy event and the reason why is looking at the numbers uh you do not have to blitz uh, a lot of rotations and mind you this event in six days guys not seven um so i have to go back and fix my math but it looks like you're getting about 2400 points uh per full rotation that is 35 wins out of a possible 43 teams to give you a little bit of leeway if you have some losses or you just want to lower the difficulty that is also including if you win with your dark hunters and your symbiotes um and then of course a core one core 15 points uh but looking at this you really don't have to core at all um you could do anywhere from five to eight rotations a day for six days and you do not need to spend a single core in this event to hit that milestone of 20. um if you do, if you want to bliss let's uh, four rotations a day, you're spending about 119 cores a day. Uh, there are probably some people who are already doing that. So I just want you to keep that in mind that if you do want to blitz a lot and spend more, you know, cores, you can hit higher milestones. There are some good things in there. Uh, looking at this eight rotations a day for six days straight, it gets you 115,000 points. It looks like you'll get everywhere from milestone 21 to almost 27 that's a decent amount of stuff to be getting why are we getting hella shards okay um just noticed that but a decent amount of things in here so i would suggest blitz you know it doesn't hurt you're going to be spending and if you're going to be spending cores already it's just going to be additive uh points onto the overall milestone the full completion of this i was going to do a separate screen for that it's not even worth it even if you did your eight rotations a day uh looking at it you're spending about 1101 cores 
a day for six days just to finish this milestone. You get more points for blitzing. Just blitz. It, it's a lot easier. So final suggestion, you're just going to blitz a lot as much as you can towards the end and spend whatever cores you're already spending. If you want some more cores at the end of the event, spend a little bit more, but just blitz. All right, guys. And like I said, that's it. Very, very, very easy event. Nothing to go crazy about. So guys, good luck out there. It's pretty easy. Take it easy, guys. And remember, keep on shining.